I'm feeling myself. I am just really shook. I like this look a lot. I would wear this somewhere. Mmm. Mmm. This lip is scrum diddly umptious. I am in love with this lip. I can't even lie to you guys. <laughs> I like everything. My nails are transitioning to fall. Didn't know if you could tell. And yes, Kylie did copy me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face using all new products, PR packages, 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 um, stuff that I got in the mail from brands that sent me things to try out and let you guys know how I like it. This video is not sponsored by anyone at all. I'm not getting paid to say that I like any of these products. Just because they sent it to me does not mean I have to talk about it and it does not mean that I have to like it. So if I say I like it, I actually do like it. I'm not lying because they sent it to me and I'm scared to be taken off their PR list. Trust me, I'm not scared of anybody, okay? So if you wanna see how I got this look and what products I used to do it and if I liked the products and how they turned out, then just keep on watching. First, I'm going to prime my face and I have a new primer. First thing I'm going to use is a package that I got from Farsali. Farah Dukai, who is a YouTuber on YouTube. Uh, her husband started this company to make products for the skin. This is their new Skin Tune Blur. It's a hybrid primer serum that softly blurs the skin, reduces the appearance of pores and imperfections, and leaves a bright blurred effect. And what makes this product different is the lightweight formula, which keeps skin hydrated and softly blurred at the same time. Use with or without makeup. It's $54 and it will be available today. Let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm so excited. Ooh, this is fancy. Look at that. Now, if you guys have been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I do love Farsali's Unicorn Essence. It's not necessarily a foundation primer per se, but it's an antioxidant serum, so it kind of preps the skin. This is like a step up from Unicorn Essence because it provides priming for makeup as well. I love products that are hydrating, smoothing, all that stuff, so this sounds like a winner, okay? It's like a milky kind of substance. And I haven't moisturized, well, I haven't like primed my skin at all yet, so. Um, this is going to serve as my moisturizer slash primer. Okay. It feels a lot different than Unicorn Essence. Feels more like a primer. Okay. So far, so good. It feels really soft. It feels moisturizing and hydrating. I do notice that it is blurring my skin a bit. My skin wasn't like oily or anything before, so I can't really tell if it like works for that. But I do see that it is smoothed out a little bit so nice we'll see how it holds up with my makeup that i put on top so i have a foundation to try a little scared a little nervous this is the laura mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation this is five in one pecan we don't know what it's gonna look like but we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see what it does i'm gonna shake her up and we're gonna see what it looks like on my hand before I put it on my face because it might not be the right color. Actually, that looks like it might work. It looks a little on the orangey side, but we're gonna try it out just to be sure. I'm gonna just paint this on. It's not too bad. It's a little on the orange side from what I can tell, but maybe it'll dry down a nice shade. We'll buff it out and see. Oh, okay, Laura. It says, Laura's longest wearing foundation seamlessly fuses to the skin with a weightless layer that looks, fits, and feels the second like a second skin. Medium to full coverage. Naturally you, leaves a matte finish, never dull or flat, apply to clean skin with Laura's foundation sponge. Don't have that. Or fingertips, <laughs> didn't use that. For best results, use with your preferred foundation primer. Okay. Well, I, I am seeing that this is a matte finish um, so far. Wow, that looks good. Wow, I wasn't expecting that from Laura Mercier. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't think Laura Mercier had good foundations. I don't know why I thought that. Um, yeah, I had heard that. Why do I have these little bumps on my nose? Where you get these bumps? You got eczema? Yeah, I wasn't sure if they had good foundations or not. Um, I don't know about their shade range either. I, that's This is the only shade that I have. Um, and I haven't really looked at it. I'll look at it online and I'll leave a little note on the screen of how many shades and everything. I so far am feeling this foundation and it layers nicely from what I can tell. 
Um, obviously, once it sets into the skin and I set it and put all my other stuff on top, we're gonna like, you know, just see what it looks like. But they got my shade match perfect, which never happens, almost never um, happens when I get a new foundation from a company that sent it to me without me giving them my foundation shade. Because I definitely didn't give them a reference point or anything, they just sent me this. So the fact that it works, is amazing. Now with my forehead, we all know that my forehead is darker than the rest of my face. That's typically how it is. I'm gonna cover up this mustache here. Right here. <laughs> um, but so we're gonna we're gonna contour. Don't worry. Um, this looks pretty good. It is on the warmer side. I don't know if this is a neutral shade, but it is reading a little bit warm. I have more olivey undertones in my skin, so I, I look a little more burnt chicken nugget no worries i feel like the foundation looks good for them to send me this and not know my shade this is accurate so i'm really excited excited because as you guys know people love to send out large massive pr packages this is just what these brands like to do these days so that we get to show you guys mac came out with some new concealers, but they weren't just gonna like come out with new concealers and just be like, hey guys, we got new concealers. They're like, no, we're gonna send you a whole glass case of our new concealers. The new Studio Fix Matte Concealer. Meet our new Sculpt and Shape Matte Contour Palette. Oh, so it's more than one product in here. Um, I don't know why I didn't realize that. On this side here, we have the contour palettes. Um, and then on this side, we have all the concealers. Now, as you can see, it's a lot of shades. I can't swatch all of them and show you all of them in this video, but these look like the NC shades, and then this looks like the NW shades at the bottom. Um, back in the day when I used to wear MAC foundation, I was NC45. So I'm gonna try a different, different, a couple different shades to see which one matches me the best. I'm just gonna go for the middle. And I'm also gonna take one of these contour palettes as well. I see you, MAC doing the dang thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Like heavy acrylic um, containers like that, I usually keep them. I'm probably gonna use that for lip glosses or something because that is nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do all these colors of concealer though. It's a lot of concealer and I don't do makeup anymore. I'm not a makeup artist. So I will probably be gifting that to a up and coming makeup artist. So you should be on my Instagram. I may do a giveaway guys, you never know. I have three medium deep concealer shades that I think might work for me. That's NC44, NC43. Oh, it smells like Studio Fix. If you know the iconic MAC foundation smell. All right, so there's the three shades swatched. They go from lightest to darkest. NC42 looks a little too light and NC43 looks about right. NC44 is probably gonna match me really, really well. Let's try to NC43 on this eye and see what we got. Actually, that might be too light. We might need to do NC44. NC44 might be better. I'm going to use a brush to blend out my concealer. To be honest, beauty blenders are not my jam right now. It's not as full as I thought it would be. Um, like, it's not like super maxi full coverage. It's definitely got a little bit of sheerness to it. So if you wanted to build, you could. I think I like NC44 better. It looks nice. I just looked at it in the mirror up close, like really, really up close. I have a mirror right here, but in the bathroom, for some reason, bathroom lighting just gives me a different feel. But it looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. I might do one more swipe on under my eye um, just to give me a little bit more coverage. So there's two sculpting palettes. There is a light medium palette, um, which is this one. And then there is a medium dark palette. I think this is the color names on the front, but you got a light shade to set your concealer and you've got some darker shades here to contour. So I'm not gonna use that to set my under eyes though. I'm actually going to use a setting powder that I want to share with you guys. Ooh, so now my under eye looks super bright because I let that sit. But hopefully once I set it with powder, it'll be fine. Um, to set my under eyes first, let's do that. Um, I'm going to use a new powder by Huda Beauty. And I know some of you have probably seen me talk about this in my most recent um, Get Ready With Me, my live Get Ready With Me's on Instagram, but this is their new, um, the new setting powder. There was a lot of controversy about this. It pertains to Huda Beauty and 
Beauty Bakery because Beauty Bakery does have their setting powders. Um, I won't get into that right now, but I talked about it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, sorry you missed out on the conversation. I do still like this powder. I do still use it because they sent it to me. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really good powder and I actually like it more than the Beauty Bakery. Um, but I do understand that some people were a little bit upset about, you know, the fact that she kind of like ripped off the idea of using a baking powder for baking. And this is the color Kunafa and it is a deep yellow shade. Uh, there are, I believe, six or seven colors. I believe it's eight. Just my personal preference. I like this shade. I like this powder. I feel like personally it works really well for setting my under eyes. I like the way it looks. It smells amazing. Um, it smells like cake and perfume. I just, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I like the powder. Don't kill me, okay? I like the powder. And I just feel like, why can't we all just get along, you know? Why can't we all just get along? They sent me the Hootie Beauty, okay? So I gotta let y'all know if it's worth the money and all that. And to me it is. I think it's worth it. Cause the powder is really good. Like, it's just, it's just really good. Like, do you see my under eyes right now? Like, they're so smooth and set. So yeah, I really love the Hootie Beauty. Just had to throw that out there. We're gonna do the contour kit from MAC and I'm going to take a brush like this one. This is the Morphe E50 brush. I'm sorry if I don't mention the brushes. I always forget. I'm gonna start with this uh, deeper shade right here. The first deep shade in here because the other ones look kind of dork. That's actually kind of perf. I'm gonna blend this up here too because obviously my foundation did not blend well on my forehead area. I always have to blend down on my forehead anyway to humble it a little bit because you know shorty got a forehead on her i like my forehead though like when people wear frontals and they take off like half their forehead i'm like you can do that if you want to but i like to keep my forehead you know almost ripped my edges out trying to wear frontals right on my hairline because i wanted to keep my forehead just contouring my nose a little bit not too much just a little bit and voila we have contour i don't typically recommend palettes like this for normal regular people um, I'm just letting you know from a consumer standpoint, this kind of stuff is not good for people who don't do makeup on other people. You don't need all these shades. You might as well just go buy a single bronzer or contour color. This is cool, but it's great for makeup artists. New brow stuff. I actually have a lot of new brow stuff and I'm really not a fan of using new brow stuff only because I like what I like when it comes to my brows. You know what I'm saying? And new brow stuff scares me, but I'm going to use a new pencil and this is by, this is the Brow Perfector by NARS. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. This is the color Lava Dark Brown Warm. This takes a little while, so we're just gonna talk while we do this. Um, I will be in Atlanta, September the 12th. I will be at Pont City Market. I'm thinking about Skyline Park if the weather is permitting. Yeah, I wanted to have a meetup and meet my Atlanta fam. I definitely haven't met my Atlanta victors yet and I would love to. So if you guys are in the area, feel free to stop by and see you, girl. This pencil is nice. It's definitely not heavy by any means. It's very soft. It's not too heavy. It's not too dark. It's not too crayony. You know, some brow pencils are like really crayony. Is it my favorite brow pencil in the world? Definitely not. I still love my ColourPop brow pencils. And I'm gonna set that using the brow gel, the Kush brow gel by Milk Makeup. It's my favorite brow gel. Um, I do plan on doing a full face using Milk Makeup one of these days because I have a lot of Milk Makeup stuff. Now that our brows are on, I'm feeling like a new woman. Let's do eyes. So really, really, really excited to share this with you guys. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to share with you guys for about a week now. She showed it on her YouTube channel and announced it and everything so I can show you guys. But for those of you who know, I do do videos with Deck of Scarlet every, maybe every once a quarter. Um, I'll do a video showing you guys the Deck of Scarlet palettes that I get. They're palettes that are made with YouTubers, with influencers. Raven Elise is featured um, for the month of September. Um, and this is her palette. And um, this is the card that comes on the inside. And it says, meet Raven Elise, our artist in chief for this season. Raven says, I'm so excited to finally share this collaboration with you. I was shook when Doug Scarlett invited me to curate my own palette. We worked together over the past year to create a fun palette to take you from day to night. Thank you all for your support. Can't wait to see what looks you create. First of all, if you guys don't know who Raven Elise is, what are you doing? Stop this video, go watch. Um, but Raven is like a longtime friend of mine, like a longtime YouTube friend. 
I met her in like right before I got married, so 2013. And it's just been really cool to see her grow and her channel blossom and her and Zaya and everything like that. So if you've been keeping up with Raven, you already know um, that everything that she's touching right now is turning to gold. Like, Shadi's killing it this year. So I'm super proud of her. This is her palette, which is what it looks like. Some really pretty shades in here. They're like really deserty rose gold tones but the colors in here are all named after stuff that raven says like shambles rant bomb vibes literally bay and then zaya love it i mean you gotta support your gals you know what i'm saying support your friends hashtag support the homie it also comes with a long lasting liquid eyeliner i probably won't use the eyeliner i'm not an eyeliner gal like that um uh, and i don't want to get eyeliner on my lashes so i'm just gonna do the shadow for today let's just take a crease color. I'm gonna use this Too Faced palette really quick and use the color Peach Tea just to blend into my crease area. This way it'll transition that shadow a little bit better. I'm also gonna put a little bit of Balm under the eyes too. <clears throat> this shade Balm right here. I'm gonna just run that under the eye. We're gonna take Zaya. Ooh, Zaya. But this is one of those shades that you wear, honey. You wear this. You wear it all over the lid and you stun on them, okay? You're very Raven too, cause she loves her rose gold, you know what I'm saying? That is pretty and it layers really nice too. Um, I'm also going to take, literally, this highlight shade here. I'm gonna put a base down first. I find that usually when I put a base highlight down first, the highlight comes out stronger and brighter. The base I'm gonna use is ColourPop uh, Drop of a Hat. It's got like a creamy consistency. I'm gonna just kind of swirl that. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush. This is a Sephora Featherweight Blending and I'm gonna use Literally. Mmm, look at that. It's a bright highlight, sis. You trying to blind me, girl? Um, this highlight is definitely shaking the table. Just gonna blend that in a little bit because it's got a little crazy, okay? Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of white eyeliner. And to me, it just adds a little, just a little touch of, I don't know, glam, because it makes my lashes, my bottom lashes pop. So maxing out some new color, lip colors as well. This is the Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Color. And this isn't a red color. I feel like it'll match really well with the look that I have going on today. And it's in the color, it's just candy. I'm gonna use this this ColourPop lip pencil. It's kind of lying my lips a little bit. Oh wait, I missed one. What is this color? Ooh. Just kidding, I'm using this one, just kidding. This is the color Spoil Yourself and I think I'm gonna do an ombre actually. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, this one's pretty too. Uh, uh, wow. I look like a Valentine. Wrap me up and send me to your bay. Not your bay, my bay. I'm in love. All of me loves all my lips. I don't know how you feel, but these lip colors are beautiful. So that was, it's just candy and spoil yourself. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. The girly girl in me is like screaming right now. She usually is quiet, but she's screaming on today. We did some magic today. Um, so far, so good with the foundation. Like I said, the foundation, the primer, concealer, all of that was great. I didn't have any issues with anything that I have applied today and i like everything if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and let me know that you want to see more videos um like this one where i try new stuff i have a lot of new products that i can try so just let me know how you feel about these types of videos and i'll talk to you guys in my next one okay 